So you want to know how this all started? Well, one day, circa 2020, an overzealous young man named Jack decided he wanted to host a game show. He was bright and determined, but the thing he lacked was social skills. And in the end, he couldn't be bothered to ask anyone to sign up. So he thought of the next best thing. Let's get skeletons to do it! So with nothing but a rusty spade gifted to me by my father's mother, and a book of spells bought at the local magic store, I set out amongst the tombstones to try and find the most interesting personalities for my planned game show. Uh, this looks like a good one. Now, once I remove some grass, all I have to do- Oh, I stand back for this. And- Ah, shoot! Oh. Hey, would you like to be on a game show? Huh? Okay. Guess not. It was hard not to get discouraged, but eventually... Yeah, man, it's gonna be like a great game show. You interested in joining? I found people interested in participating. Unfortunately, the one thing I didn't account for is that I am a very, very weak man. And because of that, my power only allows for three skeletons to be permanently resurrected from the dead. So naturally, that's what the reward would be. A second chance at life. And I decided to call this show... I haven't done any wheel spins as of right now, so if there's any eliminated contestants that you still see here, do not worry, they are very much still eliminated. Oh, and Iris has fallen down from the cliff finally, so she's going to be joining us for... However long she and Zolly can follow me for still. Well, Iris, how are you feeling now? I mean, the boat curse is broken. Exactly. Oh, so, you know, Zolly, I would love to hear your poetry, but, you know, we gotta keep going in the dungeon. You know, maybe, maybe next time. Yeesh. Oh, God, I'm so dumb. Get out of the way. I can't deal with you right now. Taking a second nickel out of the bag. This is going to be wheel spin number 11. Ironic because this is nugget number 11. The more things change, the more they stay the same. You know the drill. Currently, the one with the most votes this time around was Sheldon. With a 16% chance. Will he be put up for the wheel? If it's anything like the last few times, Frost is on the chopping block. If the 50 is rolled for a fourth time in a row, random number generator is going to be up to 105, so without further ado, 3, 2, 1. No! It's a lot higher than 50. With a score of 75, Iris, one point away from being safe. But unfortunately, Iris is once again going up against the wheel. This is starting to get a bit saddening. I've grown so attached to you all. I'm sorry, Iris, but as a weak, pathetic person, I don't have the strength to be able to. And if I don't choose three, none of you are gonna stay alive. And Iris survives another day. Yep, we're definitely heading to the void area now. In case it wasn't extremely obvious from the extreme descent. Oh yeah, this is this is the void area, alright. Careful wasabi. No! Oh god. I just need to double check that my safety net worked. Yep, and as you can see, 
Wasabi and Sheldon are just fine. Hopefully I didn't miss any spots, though. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna do this with any of them, though. Are they really expecting me to actually... Ah... Uh, this is gonna be annoying. I've never ridden one of these before. Oh, please say it's easy. Please say it's easy. Oh... Uh, Oh, oh no 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 stop 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 oh god Oh god no 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 I hate this Oh no 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 God guys Stop! Stop! Don't push me off! Don't you do it! Oh my good god! Okay. Alright, we're going. We gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! Gotta take care of this thing! I mean, some of you are still with us! So that ain't the worst. Oh, there's a thing over there, though. Maybe we'll try. Stop, 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 stop. God, I have to go. Oh, God, Squeaky, this ain't good. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Oh god. Don't you dare. Oh god, Squeaky, don't lead him over here. 22 blocks isn't enough to get where I need to go. That's just a fact. So... I'm just gonna try and get one gas spawner in this first excursion out into the open field. And we'll see how that goes. It's probably gonna end with me needing to do it. Oh, Squeaky, you almost just killed me there. Good gosh, everything you've built up so far in terms of goodwill, you nearly squandered in that two seconds of action. Oh, there, the wool's right there, so... Just a matter of, do we want to push Squeaky off so we can get the rest- Alright, that's the final teleportation, probably. Most likely. So now, how many of them amongst them are gonna be able to make it over here? Probably not a lot. Uh-oh, that's a- Yeah. Okay, back, 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 back up. Oh, an alert's gone. Alright, that is probably the last teleport of this entire one. So if you want to go with me, you're going to have to make the jumps. And only five of you have been able to do it. Never mind, way less. Uh-oh. Don't. Okay, I need... Oof. That's not the bow! That's not the bow! Oh! Oh! That was stressful! <laughs> so, I mean... Some of them rode in a minecart. I don't see why they can't do that. A zero-death dungeon! Something that's been increasingly rare as of late, but glad to know I'm still capable of doing them. Yep, we're gonna need more. I guess we have these. Ooh, 
Oh. Yeah, don't worry, buddy. Hey, hey! We did it. The question still remains, though. Which of our skeleton friends is going to be the next one eliminated? I do apologize, I couldn't keep with the tradition of playing the dungeon the way it was meant to be played, but when you got 19 skeletons with you, you gotta make compromises in the way that you play dungeons. Especially if they involve striders. Well, bam So, for the first eight dungeons, I have allowed you guys to directly pick which skeleton does not move on in the competition. For these next four dungeons, it's gonna work about a bit different. Basically, you guys are going to elect the three skeletons that you believe should be put up for elimination, and I am going to determine which one will not move forward in the competition. And then, when we get to the final four dungeons, <laughs> those should be a lot of fun to see. We have another shiny nickel. So you know what it's time for. Wheel spin number 12, baby. So before I go nominating MVPs, it is time to see who is going up against the wheel for a third time. As you can see, these are the votes with Greed scoring a high 20, which is nearly double the amount of second place. Will he be able to survive? That is going to depend on the random number generator. So, we got it this between 1 and 107. If it's 50 again, then that means sushi is going to be on the menu. But let's see. 56. We're not having sushi. We could be having steak, though, as Moon is going up against the wheel. Hello, Moon. It is time for you to go against the wheel. No! No! I know you're frustrated, but listen. There's, a, you know, a 60% chance you'll be fine. Okay, Moon. The very first MVP. Manages to stay alive. Well, congratulations! Looks like you're gonna be sticking around, eh? No. So after all is said and done, the three people I have decided to nominate for MVP are... Hollow, Iris, Zolly. So that does it for this episode. Feel free to head towards the community vote tabs where you can find polls to select which of these three will be MVP for the Light Grey Dungeon, as well as polls to nominate every other contestant for a potential elimination. The three that get the most votes will be put up for elimination where I will select which one I believe won't make the cut. So. Thank you for watching, and congratulations, guys! You made it to the next dungeon! Woohoo!